All right, I'm back again trying this crackle pour. And this time I'm gonna pour more resin so I have more left over for the clear. And I think I'm gonna use pretty much the same colors. Um, I think I'll use white pigment instead of white mica because I like that white mica and I didn't want to use more of it in this just to test stuff out. I'm going to use, um, I think everything else will stay the same. Oh no, and a different silver. But I don't, I was looking for silver and I don't really have that many silvers. I have silvery blacks, but no real silvers. So I'm going to use the Macro Pearl by Pearlex instead. And I'm using the same resin, which is the Counterculture. This is their Thin Viscosity Artist Resin. I'm just trying to use it all up since I don't want to use the resin I like. And yes, a lot of times when I pour larger batches, I do use the same cup to pour my resin and hardener in. So I'm going to pour my hardener in the same cup, which is why I'm scooping out as much of the resin as I can. I think last time I mixed up uh, 8 ounces. I'm going to mix up close to 11 ounces because these are 5.5 but I'm not filling them all the way to the top so close to 11 ounces and yeah I will come back once I have my colors all mixed up alright I'm ready to start pouring my resin in and this is what the silver now is it's the macro pearl from Pearl X and I also changed my dark blue pigment to pastel blue because my darker tint, the first color, was very similar. So I decided to change that and I also changed the purple to blue. But everything else is the same oh, and this pigment is now white instead of um, mica. I don't know if having two pigments poured together will make a difference, but I guess we'll see. And then I also made sure I had enough clear in the end this time. So the first color is this one. I'm going around the edge. And maybe I'll also put more around the edge this time too. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can get these air bubbles because I noticed after I poured the last layer and these other and the other um, coasters there were air bubbles. Maybe I should let it close up in the middle. I don't know. I feel like I should just use it all since I have it here. Mm. Oops. Why not? Let's see. I'm mainly just looking to see if the they're the same thickness. And actually I'm just going to pour in another mold right away since I have this resin here and then the next will be the mica 
and hopefully I mix it well enough this time. So I need two layers of this one. And then next is the white. Maybe I should try popping the bubbles in between each layer. And this white pigment is from the Super Clear brand. This is their, what is it? white what do they call their colors oh super colors and just white i need two layers of this one too So many little bubbles and fuzzies. Let me use my lighter. Okay, better. Next, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we only use this color once. I really like this color. This is also from the same brand artworks as the other blue pigment. This is pastel blue. Let's see how much I use of this one. Should I put a little more in? Okay, that will be that for this one. And then I'll put the rest in this mold over here. And then the third color again, which is my white. Okay, that's all for the white. And then this blue. Let's see all those air bubbles. Mm, I think that's all I'm going to do for that blue. Because I don't really like how it goes with the other blue. So that's that for that one. 
and then the second color again. Wait, did I do it wrong last time? I, I don't even remember. Did I pour silver in second to last? I think I did. I don't remember. I did not. I don't think I did. I think I put purple in last. And then I didn't put silver in again. But whatever. And now for my clear... I'm going to see how much I can push these colors out. Like, I don't know. Is that enough? Should I do more? Okay, that's it. I'll come back in a little bit so I can show you how they look. It's been a little over an hour and a half and this is what they look like. I don't know. They look okay, I think. <clears throat> But I guess we will see when it's ready to unmold them. Okay, this is what they look like after being cured. Um, let's just look at them. I like that white pigment. Actually, I don't know if Macro Pearl is actually white. It's just like a very fine silver. But it looks white. Unless it's just the pigment mixing with the mica. Again with the middle. Mm, I don't know. Do I still need to put more clear in? Uh, what did I do? I don't know. I like the look better than the all that silver and those other ones. But yeah. I also like the Micro Pearl. I'm not sure how I feel about the clear middle. I may put some, oh, there's like a red thing right there. I might put some color or something just so that it's not a clear middle. I mean, it does kind of have the, the pattern, but it's just a blob of color in the middle. Not sure if I like that. And some little red specks got in there somehow from something. Yep, I guess another try is needed. What can I do differently? I kind of want to use that macro pearl again. I like that. Mm, maybe, maybe I need to use more of the color for the outside. Maybe I could do that. Use more clear. 
I don't know, but I'll try something again. I also have these little trinket dishes again. Just because they were out. I like the light blue and the transparent blue, but I don't really care for that in the middle. I hate how I get so many air bubbles around the edge on these. Kind of ruins it. I don't know if you're seeing the true color through the screen. It just looks blue from what you're seeing. I don't know, but it's like very light blue. Like a turquoisey type of Mm, maybe like a light aqua, aqua blue. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I will be trying again. Maybe not the next video, but you'll see more of these. And yeah, bye.